Okay, baby, we got ourselves a constant pressure well at this $2 million house. So, you know, we got to do it right. So, we got my man's here, my apprentice. He's uh, He's been learning a lot, he's doing stuff with me. But we're going to be pulling this well, as you can see. It's a shallow well. I think it was only like 80 feet. So, it's not too bad. Sorry, I'm bouncing around in my truck. But it has a little cover on it. So we're gonna take the cover off and then we're gonna replace the well pump, the wire, and we're also gonna do a new water line. So we got the old pump out, as you can see. And now it's time to start putting everything back together, baby. So yeah, we gotta get it out of this pump. But yeah, so we're gonna shove the wire through here, the new wire. Um, when we replace things, we don't typically reuse stuff, okay? A lot of other companies in my area, they'll just replace the pump. We do everything because it, you, everything went in at the same time. You might as well replace everything at the same time, baby. So this is going in the well. So we're gonna dope the crap out of this, baby. This is the barb fitting we're gonna put up top. We're gonna get it nice and tight. Cause that's the only thing that the pipe holds on to baby so uh you want it nice and tight so we're gonna shove the motor line through so it's kind of a pain in the butt but we're gonna heat this up so we can slide it right over that bar fitting oh 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 yeah baby and then you want to add some clamps that's what we're gonna do here add some hose clamps so it clamps down over that bar fitting and it's not going anywhere, baby. Now it's time to get the wires spliced and hooked up to the pump. This is kind of a pain in the butt. Not really, but uh, it's pretty tedious. Just make sure you get your crimps right, because if not, the pump's not gonna work, baby. So as you can see here, we got our long pipe. That's what she said, baby. And now I have my man up here. Uh, we're gonna put a new adapter on the pitless adapter. A new bar fitting on the pitless adapter, I should say. And now we're gonna heat this one up and we're going to shove her in. Yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. Um, typically, jobs like this, shallow wells, usually do them myself, but I'm teaching, okay? We're teaching people how to do things around here. So, we're gonna get this nice and tight, and then I like to add a bunch of tape around the hose clamps because you don't want those things corroding, okay? Grab that T, and I'm gonna start putting this down. Now it's time to shove the new pump down in the hole, baby. So, typically it just slides right in. You guys should know about that. A little bit of lube action. We got a hock two on that thing. So once we get this hooked up, we're gonna wire this thing up. And then what I like to do, because we disturb the well after this is wired up, we're gonna let it run for a little bit until it runs clear. This well was actually not that dirty, so it's uh, not that big of a problem. I still just let it run for like five, 10 minutes just to get some of that uh, nasty stuff out of the way but yeah we're gonna get this thing wired up here we go and look at that water's actually not too bad so we let that run for a little bit and then yeah baby that's pretty much it they got water back on and they're good to go thanks for watching baby